welcome back to Passport Style. Um, hopefully you can hear me now. Today, uh, this is the first episode or version of a thick, 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 thick daddy mail day. So I personally invest, um, you know, a material portion of my savings into clothes um, that includes shoes. And today I'm sitting on three packages full of Kelvin, full of temperature, otherwise known as straight heat. And I figured, you know, why don't I just test the taste buds of the internet and see if you guys enjoy watching me open some of these pieces. Now, today I have um, three different pairs of shoes that I'm gonna open in order of how excited I am about them. Um, one from StockX and then two I bought straight from retailers. Let's talk about it. So going in descending order, this is a pair of shoes I got from StockX. Um, I really don't enjoy buying uh, at resale prices, but this is a shoe that I really think is going to escalate in value. And uh, you'll see very shortly which one that is, um, if it's not in the thumbnail already. <clears throat> but the reason I believe so much in this shoe because like the uh, Air Dior, there were only 8,000 pairs of the shoe made, and it's really the first of its kind from Nike. There will maybe maybe be a, a separate video on the shoe alone at a future date, but I figured uh, I'd at least uh, open it up live. The box a little damaged, whatever. Um, hate to see it, but it's like a pineapple upside down cake. Recycle. And here we have it. This is a uh, size 11 and a half, women's 13, Nike Road Warrior. Got my stock X, you know, verified legit. This shoe, um, as you'll see, um, why it needs to come with a pair of socks. Most people don't just have a pair of, ooh, ooh. This is a crazy, crazy shoe. Now I've been watching videos about this um, online, on feed and everything, but in person, I mean, this is a beast. Oh my goodness. Um, wow, I've watched someone open this as a smaller size, but this is like a, like a Gundam. This is, this is absolutely insane. So what was so cool about this shoe um, is many things, but you got the split toe, the way you tie this shoe because it has no laces you actually um you press this button in here and you and then you can pull the loop to tighten the shoe Maybe i'll do that real quick you can tighten the shoe um this just is like a straight robot future shoe um kanye west had just tweeted about this um i was trying to pick up a cup at least one other pair and someone was already like no nah, i'm firm on price because kanye tweeted about it it doesn't look like prices have moved too much just off of that tweet but i think because the shoe is so limited it's so unique it's so wild um like you got this crazy boost system under under here you can see see clear through the bottom i think the shoe right now you can cop them from between uh 700 to a thousand dollars depending on the size i see this at least going up by 50% over the coming year or two. So um, if you're watching this a year from now, um, let me know if I was right in the comments below. But otherwise, a crazy, crazy shoe. Um, and it comes with those split toe socks so that you're not you know, stuck wearing this barefoot. And side by side, I mean, this is insane. I bought this shoe to potentially wear, but because I, I have you know, a lot of conviction that the price is only gonna go up, uh, I'm probably gonna sit on them. I mean, I have no reason to wear these for now, but um, I may end up still trying to buy another couple pairs to resell down the line. So next up is a pair of shoes from a brand I've been really feeling recently. Uh, this is a shirt I got from them, a uh, long sleeve Lamo, white bandana print. Um, that brand is Viz Vim. And I actually just ordered another pair of Christos. <clears throat> I uploaded a, a short video on feed on my Instagram. We'll be doing a review uh, of those at a later date. This is a different shoe though that uh, I haven't teased, actually maybe once on my story uh, a hot minute ago. 
but <laughs> after maybe like a month or two, I'm finally opening this package up uh, in no hurry. You know, we're staying quarantine safe, have no real reason to, to be opening stuff up and just walking around the house in some shoes. So I bought these from Union LA, you know, the, the store with the, the Sick Jordan collabs. Same store, I bought these from at retail. Um, on sale, actually, I wouldn't have. <laughs> Visvim shoes are, Visvim in general is crazy expensive. Um, so we have a nice little packaging here on the side. Oh man. Recycle again. Visvim, you are so crazy, man. I, I think this is such a crazy shoe. Uh, crazy brand, honestly. Um, I've never seen, I don't remember seeing this little signature here on my last Visvim shoe box. So these are the Boys Trekker Folk. As you can see, retail 844. That is not what I paid. I got them at a pretty good sale online. And um, I was going back and forth for probably two months on whether or not to buy this, but um, decided I was going to. A size 12 in this brand is also pretty rare. Uh, they don't do half sizes after size 10, I want to say but uh, a rare size, a shoe that I was actually feeling. Ooh. These come, yeah, this is this is some bougie stuff. When it comes with a dust bag, but it's already in the dust bag, that's bougie. All right, let's pull them out. I've only seen these in pictures online. That's kind of hard to pull out. Oh my gosh, yo, this, this, this is like a crazy feeling. It smells like leather. Oh my gosh, yo, Viz Vim, that is crazy. That is crazy. So this this is a, like a moccasin looking shoe. Yo, I wish you could feel this, this, this uh, outsole right here. This is a natural, um, what is it, like latex crepe um, outsole. And it, it feels unlike any other outsole I've ever felt. Like it kind of looks similar to some Clark's Wallaby, but this this feels, this I it's got like a, a little bit of a jelly feel to it. And like, I don't know, it just feels natural. I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm in the forest right now. Um, so here's the bottom of the shoe. And um, the thing about Visbin is, is everything about this brand is, is artisan. It's luxury, but it's luxury in the sense that it's artisan. Like every, every detail, is you know attended to by uh oh gosh i'm blanking on the name i think it's hiroki nakamura this shoe is absolutely crazy let's go ahead and get the second one out the reason i wanted to cop this was one it was on sale two <laughs> i think this brand is absolutely crazy uh it's not new i think it's founded in 2001 i'll probably do a video on the brand at another date but i really wanted to pick up some some Visvim shoes other than the Cristo. And these were on sale, so I had the cop eventually. The Visvim Boyers Trekker Folk. I may be mispronouncing that. This is a crazy shoe. I cannot wait to wear this. This is definitely a fall winter shoe that I can see myself wearing every single day. Another cool little detail, these hand painted uh, labels. They have a different pattern for each season. Um, so it's like a V and a W. Um, for you know to look like this bim they, they hand paint each of these little tabs for each product as far as i'm aware and they will change up that little design uh, for each season now for the last shoe and of the three this is definitely the one that i'm going to keep for myself um, the road warrior i say there's, there's like an 80 percent chance i'm going to resell that um <laughs> all right and then this shoe <laughs> My story with this brand, I, I think I got an Instagram ad for them or, or something. And I'm just, it's an acquired taste for sure. Like the, the posts that they make about their products. But over time, just following the account, I just was, became so mesmerized by like their branding. Okay, it was that side. And the founder of this company, the co-designer of the Balenciaga Triple S, which kind of changed the game, making dad shoes really a thing. Oh. This is uh, 53045 or shoes. Um, I call it 53045 because that's Designing shoes for more than 25 years. 
with a 53045. That's what the founder called it on a video I, I found. I picked these up. 50% off. I've been biding my time. I wanted a pair of these so badly, but just couldn't pull the trigger. They have some crazy loafers, like black like dress loafers um, that I wanted to pick up. They're over $400. I saw that they had a flash sale, 50% off. And uh, I reposted that on my Instagram story. And I had to pick up a pair instantly in my size. Oh my goodness. Your feet funk you and we do too. Thank you so much. I just think these shoes go so hard. Oh, we got some cute stickers. I like that. I'm not a huge person for stickers, but you know what? I like these. I like these. Yeah, those, those are pretty funny. They always include thicker insoles to adjust the fit in case they're a little too big. Um, two dust bags. And here we go. So these retail for, I believe, $400. I got them 50% off, you can do the math. Oh my goodness. This is absolutely insane. Wow. So this is the ice colorway. This is so wild. You got, you got all the holes through the bottom, you can actually see through. On another pair of shoes, they actually have chains going over and under the shoe. You got this thick air cushion and um, this shoe is, is uh, vegan. They don't use leather, um, crazy colors. This is so smooth. I love the mat on this. It smells like the future. And um, you know, this shoe I really wanted to, to cop to keep for myself. I am so excited about this. And uh, I cannot wait to put out a video on this brand, show you these shoes on feet. And they have another shoe coming out that they've been teasing. And I messaged them, I was like, yo, when can I cop the shoe? They have like a um, metallic-y purple shoe, purple and black, um, coming out early September. Oh man, this is how you know it's legit. This is what a legit pair looks like. Although I doubt anyone's trying to fake these. Here they are side by side. And um, this is the pair I was most excited for. Uh, today because this is the pair I'm definitely going to be keeping and wearing and without uh, further ado uh, I thank you guys for watching. Let me know if this was interesting. Does the internet like watching people open things up? If you didn't enjoy it still like the video because I like you and uh, hit the subscribe button. Thanks